So this is where the famous Faithin lives and runs a video store. <laughs> that reminds me. Sometimes Lucy comes all the way to New Eridu just to see movies that feature her favorite stars. Caesar, you haven't been to New Eridu much, have you? When we do get business in the city, we get hold of temporary entry permits. But I rarely make the trip. I was born and raised in the Outer Ring. I still prefer a place that gives you the freedom to roam. How about we explore the city today? I'll be your tour guide. We have some time while the data copies, and there's nothing else to do while we wait. All right, you're the boss.
We've seen the movie and had our drinks. Where should we go next? We've got some time to spare. How about we walk around nearby? There's lots of interesting shops in Lumina Square. You might see something you like. Okay, let's go. Everyone, watch out! Stay away from that fugitive! Uh-oh. That guy has a dangerous look in his eyes. Those guys chasing him don't stand a chance. Take care of yourself, Wise. I'll be right back. Hello, Wise? Caesar, where are you? Are you okay? Don't worry, don't worry, I'm fine. I already caught the guy. Don't forget I'm even stronger than lighter. And besides, you weren't that concerned about me when I was dealing with ethereals before. Humans are sometimes more dangerous than ethereals. Wow, that's so old school. You sound just like Big Daddy. So, are you still nearby? I got totally turned around chasing him through the alleys. So, I am a little lost right now. Give me a minute and I'll come to you. Hmm? Hey, Wise, can you hear me?
The data should have finished copying by now. And it's getting dark. Let's head back to the Outer Ring. Thanks for showing me around today. Seems like everywhere in New Eridu is just as busy as the old oil field's biggest market. Badger's Respite. So many strange and wonderful things. No wonder a lot of people from the Outer Ring want to live here. Haven't you ever thought about it, Caesar? With your skills, you could apply for citizenship. Me? Uh, never thought about it. Even now, being here in the city, I still feel like I belong in the Outer Ring. Why, it really is you. Long time no see. I saw the note on your door saying you'd be away for a while, but I didn't expect it to be this long. Chop told me he saw you were back, so I came over to check. How are you guys? We're doing good. Thanks, Enzo. Just visiting friends for a few days. I happen to be one of those friends. We'll take good care of Bell and Wise. <laughs> With such a friendly host, we neighbors can rest easy. I'll leave you to it. If you need anything, just drop by my store. Is that guy your neighbor, Proxy? You seem close. I always heard people in the city aren't as close to one another. But from what I've seen today, people seem pretty friendly here too. You asked if I ever thought about living in the city. I guess with so many close friends in the Outer Ring, I've just never thought about leaving. So, if I want to really protect them, I can't do that. Are you talking about becoming the Overlord? Yeah, Proxy. I've been thinking a lot these past few days. Growing up with the stories of the Torrid Inferno, I always wanted to become the Overlord to prove I was the strongest. But being the Overlord is more than just being the strongest. Even though Pompey's men caused trouble, he stepped in and resolved the situation. He even took care of the problems in Blazewood and with the Sons of Caledon. I only just found out the reason the Overlord hadn't been seen for the past six months is because he had been working on negotiations with the other regions. I would have never thought of doing that. I didn't even know it was an option. When he laid out the terms, Lucy immediately saw the benefits of the new routes for the old oil field. But... I only understood after she told me. Casa has been working tirelessly for the town, bearing the brunt of all the pressure. Compared to them, I still have a long way to go. Don't say that, Caesar. You have your own strengths too. When you found those goods in the hollow, you didn't get angry. You let Casa take them out first. At the time, we all thought Casa had betrayed us. But you still thought of the town's residents first, worrying the items would be corrupted in the hollow. <laughs> I think anyone else would do the same, right? Making sure everyone has enough to eat is more important than my pride or my feelings. But hearing you say that makes me feel a lot better. I might not be the smartest, but like a wild boar, once I set my sights on a target, I won't let up until I chase them down. Besides, I've got a great group of friends supporting me. Now it's time to focus on Torrid Inferno. Pompey is a great opponent. This time, we'll find out once and for all who's the best. Boss, here's the new route distribution sheet. The newly expanded freight routes have been assigned to the Sons of Caledon as per your instructions. Yes, put it there. Boss, you've worked so hard for these new routes. Are you really going to just hand them over? If it weren't for Moore stealing the intelligence, I wouldn't have had to go through all this trouble. By the way, Moore's insists he acted alone. What do you think? Well, boss, you know Moores was also thinking of our best interests. <laughs> You're giving me the answer to a question I never asked. But you don't seem too surprised by all this. 
Wanting to win isn't a bad thing. But since I'm the reigning overlord, we have to act with integrity. The Motor League's stability ensures the safety of the oil wells. If there's infighting, someone's going to get taken advantage of. By the way, I heard that you've had a lot of dealings with companies in the city lately. Uh, that is absolutely untrue. It's just that we had some issues with the protective gear we arranged for the oil refinery. I had to find a way to handle it. I hope so. Lucius, you're smart and ambitious, but always eager for immediate results. Don't let your cleverness backfire. Yes, boss. <coughs> these documents never end. I've been feeling exhausted these days. Am I getting too old for this? Not at all, boss. You've been talking about the Tour d'Inferno a lot lately. You're clearly raring to go. <laughs> well said. Caesar may have some potential, but she's not ready to replace me yet. But boss, please don't overwork yourself for the next few days. After all, for this grand event, you need to be in peak condition. Only the brave will win. <laughs> That's me! Ready, let's move. thing flying around. Good question. Eyes wide open and take a gander at this, folks. To give everyone a front row seat to this grand event, every Tord Inferno is filmed by drones. And this year, there's only an unprecedented 10-minute broadcast delay inside and outside the hollow. Enough chit-chat. Let's introduce this year's factions! Defending, we got the Vanquishers! Pompey, Lucius, and Mars! Challenging, we have the Sons of Paladon! Caesar, Lucy, and Lighter! The rules are simple. Charge into the hollow, reach Cinder Lake, and use the Spark Stone to blow up those their crystals. Whoever completes the ritual first will be crowned Overlord! Overlord! The finals have been a long time coming. The showdown's gonna be a blast. <laughs> You're quite confident, little girl. Do your best and try not to bore me. Alright, folks. Take your positions. The and the sons of Caradon are neck and neck as they pass the fork. Can we expect an epic 
showdown in the hollow. Be careful, everyone. We're about to enter the hollow. Cinder Glow Lake, here we come! this route in real time. Obstacles detected on the road ahead. <laughs> Piece of cake! Warning. Dangerous buildings above the Run road ahead. Run them! You okay? Uh, not at all! My hair is full of sand! <laughs> That's what you get for being so slow! There are more and more ether crystals around. Ether concentration levels are up too. Everybody be careful. Huh. There's a huge building over there. It's probably an oil refinery, right? Big Daddy told me this place used to be incredible. Are you okay? Dang, that was quite an impact. Is your Bang Boo all right? I'm fine. How are you holding up? I'm all right, just a few scratches. I'll live. The only problem is, it's just you and me now. Lucy and Lighter are missing. When the boulder fell, the ground gave way and collapsed, forming a massive hole. And when I woke up, we were here. Master, due to the spatial distortion caused by the severe tremors, you have deviated from the planned route, recalculating your position. Additionally, before the rockfall, a significant release of energy was detected coming from both sides of the road. Please proceed with caution. A significant release of energy? You mean an explosion? There were old oil facilities on that path. Did the explosion come from there? <laughs> What's this? When we fell in here, I got covered in this glittery dust. Dust? Now that you mention it, Eos is covered in it too. 
Hmm? Wait a minute. Isn't this stuff the ether powder left behind after a pure ether explosive goes off? What did you say, Wise? But the Outer Ring doesn't have advanced ether technology, and the city wouldn't sell such dangerous tech to the Outer Ring. So how did it get here? That can only mean one thing. The explosion was no accident. What? Who did this? Couldn't be... the Vanquishers, could it? But when we were at the starting line, Pompey told me to give him my all and give him a proper challenge. He seemed eager to compete. How could he stoop so low? Caesar, although we can't jump to conclusions, with an incident as serious as this, there's no way today's race can continue as planned. The drone should have gotten it all on camera. Bernice is watching the race. We have to tell her the truth and get her to call it off. Understood, second assistant. Connecting you now. Oh, hey, Proxy, it's you. What are you calling me for? Everything looks to be going smoothly in the Hollow, and we haven't encountered any battles so far. Huh? Bernice, didn't you see what just happened? What? Did something happen? Why, something's wrong. Fairy says the footage being broadcast has been tampered with. It's not just ours. Even the footage of the Overlord is fake. The footage from both sides has been swapped out. I don't think this is just about stopping us from winning the Tour d'Inferno. Yeah, their actions suggest they aren't worried about getting exposed later. And there's ether explosives appearing where they shouldn't be in the Outer Ring. Could they be targeting Cinder Lake? Are you saying Cinder Lake might be in danger? Yes, I think Wise's guess makes sense. Caesar, you're the leader of the Sons of Caledon and our client. So what's the plan? We can try to get out of the Hollow right now and tell everyone about what happened. Or... You're stating the obvious, Proxy. We're heading to Cinder Lake. We can't just sit back and watch. As long as we can protect Cinder Lake, we'll figure the rest out. Got it. Faithen will respect and follow your decision. Uh, wait, what are you all talking about? It sounds like something crazy happened, but it doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Bernice. I'll explain everything to you later. Wise, Caesar, you two should get going. You've got to regroup with Lighter and Lucy. Let's go, Proxy. We don't have much time. Biosignals detected in the area ahead. Ugh, there's no end to these things! That was Lucy's voice. Let's hurry! Are you guys all right? Boss, don't worry. We're fine. But the collapse just now was not normal. Seems like it was caused by ether explosives. That's the conclusion we came to, too. Looks like someone is trying to harm Cinder Lake. We have to get there fast. Wait! If you're going to Cinder Lake, you need a bike! Note. I've already detected the coordinates of three motorbikes. <laughs> That's great news! Proxy, take us there now! Rotate. 
Fisher won't hurt for long. I promise. This way. There's a special fisher nearby. Biosignals detected nearby. Let's go take a look. <laughs> it's Morse! That's weird. Why isn't he with the Overlord and the others? Boss, that guy just now was holding a pair of binoculars. He seemed to be looking at something at the foot of the mountain, just where the explosion happened. Moors, what's your status? Have you seen the Sons of Caledon? Where have they gone to? Reporting in, boss. I've been monitoring their route as instructed. But I still haven't seen any sign of them yet. Still haven't seen them? Those young'uns know how to handle themselves. Now that they're facing some real trouble, they can't take it. <coughs> uh, boss? You okay? Ha! <laughs> Moors, of course the Overlord is fine. Didn't you see him cut down those ethereals just now with a single slash? Lucius, enough trying to suck up to me. After all these years with me, you still haven't gotten over those bad habits of yours. Turning tail and running at the first sign of danger, and underestimating your enemies when victory's within reach. As a biker and second in command of the Vanquishers, you aren't fit to lead with that attitude. Boss, I get what you're saying. I've always been slow to learn. If it wasn't for you, I would never have even seen the shadow of Cinder Lake. Enough. In the past, you would have fled at the mention of the Tour de Inferno, but now you've insisted on coming along. That counts as progress. Moors, keep an eye on the Sons of Caledon. We aren't far from Cinder Lake. Not good. The Vanquishers are way ahead of us. But by the sounds of it, Pompey knew nothing about the explosion. Is it just me, or does something feel off about Moors? The explosion at the foot of the mountain just now caused a huge landslide. You can see the rising smoke and dust from here, even without binoculars. Proxy, you're onto something! Seeing something like that would usually cause alarm. Even if Moors was sent to spy on us, it's still weird that he didn't even mention this to the Overlord. Hey, Caesar, pipe down! Huh? Who's there? Warning. Time to surrender. <laughs> Not gonna happen. through the fissure. Morris must have had something to do with the explosion back there. What? I've got a bad feeling about this. The Sons of Caledon talked a big game about having a showdown, but this has been disappointingly dull. Boss, you might have a soft spot for that Caesar, but it's their own fault for being so useless. <laughs> but dull can be a good thing. At least we won't have to worry about Cinder Lake for a few years. What's with all these ether crystals coming out of nowhere? The ether aggregation catalyst can accelerate the crystallization of free floating ether particles. This is tech developed by City Enterprises to increase ether production, and it works wonders in the unique environment of Cinder Lake. Lucius, do you mean you... That's right, Pompey. I've replaced your spark stone. Cinder Lake will be completely extinguished soon. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot to mention. When using this catalyst, the nearby ether concentration will skyrocket. Especially for those with a weak aptitude for ether, it will have serious consequences. 
Lucius, how dare you? You won't get away with this! How dare you give me another scar! You monster! Despite being so corrupted, you still have this much strength! To think I ever had such high hopes for you. I was blind! Do you understand the impact of colluding with the city's ether companies? What it'll do to this place? <laughs> Did you really think we all shared your old-fashioned ideals of freedom and morality, boss? The weak and the worthless have no place in this age. With the power of ether, I will establish a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control! What is it? Boss, we found the Sons of Caladon. They're about to reach Cinder Lake. What? All those explosives didn't take them out? <sighs> we have to retreat for now. Seeing Cinder Lake snuffed out would have been a 90, but now it's down to a 60. Sorry, boss. Time to say goodbye. At least you'll be out of your misery. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just remembered. Weren't you disappointed you couldn't face the Sons of Caledon in a final showdown? Warning. A significant increase in ether concentration near Cinderglow Lake has been detected. What? What's going on? There aren't any cameras near Cinder Lake, so we can't be sure. But it's definitely not a good sign. Damn! Does that mean we're too late? No matter what, Lucy. We have to get there as fast as we can. Proxy? Where are our bikes? Now's not the time for this. The took Focus on dealing with the Inferos in front of us. Come with me. Yeah. Fairy, how's the situation at Cinder Lake looking? Rising ether concentration levels detected. I have also detected that Cinder Lake's heat signature is shrinking. I knew it! Cinder Lake is in trouble! We're almost there. Our rides are up ahead. We're almost there. Cinder Lake is just ahead. Caesar, that's... Old man! Hang in there! <laughs> Corruption is too severe. Caesar! Something's wrong with Cinder Lake! There are ether crystals everywhere! What on earth happened here? It's Lucius. He betrayed me. We'll get you out now. We can deal with the rest There's later. no time! Caesar, listen. You you must protect Cinder Lake. <laughs>
useless. Completely turned into an inferior. Damn it! This is all Lucius is doing! He's the one conspiring with the Ether Corporation to extinguish Cinder Lake! That's right. So long as the oil runs out. He can do whatever he pleases. Warning. Rising ether activity detected. What?
an abnormal spatial fluctuation nearby. It's like something is coming our way. It's not over yet. Where is it? Wise, everything's packed. We're ready to head back home. Proxy! Good thing you haven't left. I almost missed seeing you off. Caesar, I told you, you shouldn't have rushed over here. With everything that's happened in the old oil field, you need to be there to keep things under control. I told you, I'm just the acting overlord. That day, even though Pompey threw in the sparkstone that was replaced by Lucius, he was the first one to reach the finish line. The overlord title should be his. Caesar, speaking of Lucius, any news on his whereabouts? Nothing yet. We haven't found his man Morris either. <laughs> that no good snake. We sent Bernice and Piper to cut him off, but he got away. Looking through the stuff he left behind, we found evidence that he was colluding with an Ether Corporation in the city. Combined with Eos's recordings that day, the old oil field bikers are well aware of what he did. Proxy, I didn't get to thank you after leaving the hollow. We saved Cinder Lake thanks to you. Couldn't have done it without you, Caesar. When Cinder Lake was about to go out, I almost gave up hope. All I could do was watch as he rode away, getting further and further from us. Hey, don't get emotional on me. I was saved by the fissure hidden under the vent. Isn't it crazy how that went down? A friend who's an expert on this said that due to the complex air currents around the fissure, ether particles are unable to stabilize, preventing it from being sealed off. Due to the balance between the natural gas and the ether particles, the fissure won't be moving anywhere. It's probably been there for decades. Diving into the fiery sea, the hero returns valiantly. When the first overlord reached the lake, maybe that's where he jumped in too. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought the legend of the first overlord was true? Well, this was an unexpected discovery. People back then didn't know about the fisher, and the first overlord probably forgot what happened to him. So that's where the divine intervention part of the legend came from. True, but isn't the existence of a fisher right in the middle of Cinder Lake already pretty divine intervention-y? Do you remember what happened after you fell into the fissure? Parts of it, but it's hazy. I thought I was done for. In the darkness, I thought I would lose consciousness pretty quickly. But I could feel every part of the overwhelming pressure as I passed through the fissure. Then, I saw a light in the darkness and instinctively pulled back on the throttle and sped towards it. Next thing, I came out right on top of you all. It was unbelievable. After you said, we meet again, the next thing out of your mouth was, Lucy, if I die, the Sons of Caledon are yours. She's always had her eye on taking over as the leader of the Sons of Caledon. And in that moment, I suddenly realized that I'd never made that clear before. I thought she'd be relieved, but that lunatic jumped up, shouted, I don't want your leftovers, and straight up slapped me in the face. <laughs> that was pretty wild. Lighter and I were at a loss for words. <laughs> My face was even swollen the next day. You guys all had a good laugh about it. But this time, I really worried you all. Since you're heading back to the city, let me give you something as a memento. Wow, a sunflint! Yeah. <laughs> All of the Sons of Caledon chipped in. 
It's a shame I didn't have time to help with the weaving. I just drew the design in the middle. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. You're always welcome in the Outer Ring, Proxy. May you rise from the ashes.
The sound of Caesar's motorcycle has completely faded. It looks like we're about to leave the outer ring. As expected of the new overlord, so reliable. It's really cool that they escorted us all the way to the edge of the outer ring. They even took a bunch of shortcuts that the GPS didn't know. Thinking about how Cinder Lake was almost extinguished, and now we're laughing and driving home? It feels like a dream. What's wrong, Belle? You sound a little emotional. Although we could only prove the fissure in Cinder Lake exists from its effects, apart from Caesar's bold gamble, there really was no other way to save it. But watching Caesar fall, that feeling of helplessness, I never want to go through that again. Just like that time. Belle. Wise. <laughs> no wonder we're family. You must be thinking the same thing I am, right, Wise? This is the edge of the city. Eos and Fairy are here too. It's time. Master, you have deviated from your course. Recalculating a new route home. Don't worry, Fairy. We are going the right way. The road we're taking now is the real way home. We're here. Let's go up. Come on, Eos. Don't forget your scarf. Hang on. It feels like we haven't been back in a long time, Belle. Fairy, do you know where this is? Search complete. This is the center of the chasm at the edge of New Eridu. The chasm, which preceded New Eridu, was the product of the large uncontrolled hollow disaster in Eridu, often called the Fall of the Old Capital. To deal with the out-of-control Hollow Zero during the fall of the Old Capital, Eridu's leaders at the time detonated the 14 Shuyu pillars from the southwest to the northeast. The power of the explosion sparked a strong geological chain reaction, bringing about the formation of the chasm. That's right. There's nothing in the chasm that can be corrupted, so Hollow Zero can't convert more etheric energy to expand, which prevents it from getting out of control. New Eridu could only be built because of it. Without it, if you keep driving from here, you'll end up on the road to the northern side of Eridu, which is really close to the throne quarter. Within ten minutes, you'll come upon a massive statue. That belongs to the White Star Institute. Turning left before the statue takes you to the former main road number seven of the Minerva Quarter. On the left side of the road were all the old civilization antique shops that Wise liked to go to. He was just a kid back then, and always fell for fake antiques. And on the right side of the road were all the dessert shops and snack stores that Belle loved. I couldn't resist Belle's whining and ended up buying more treats than she could ever finish. I couldn't finish them? As soon as any snacks were placed on the table, everyone would grab them up within a minute. Or have you forgotten? How could I forget? So, at the end of main road number seven, after you pass two, no, three security gates, you'll see a beautiful building. Our teacher is right there. She'll be at the entrance with Eos waiting for us. She always liked to stand to the right of the building's plaque. The Helios Academy. That's our real home. It's there now as well, just across the chasm deep inside Hollow Zero, under the rubble of the old capital's ruins. Teacher, we're back. It's been a while this time, and a lot's happened. Master, second assistant, please allow me to express my condolences for the significant individual who has passed away. Should you wish, I can search for her name and accurately determine her location on the memorial monument. Carol. Carol Arna. That name was not found in the database of victims from the fall of the old capital. Only one matching result was found in the related information resulted in the uncontrollable Hollow Zero, leading to the great tragedy of the fall of the city. The main culprit, Senior Research Director Carol Arna of the Helios Academy, 
along with others involved, will forever be etched on the pillar of shame. Speculation. The name provided earlier was incorrect, or the matching information belongs to another person with the same name. No, it's no mistake. The person officially responsible for the fall of the old capital is Carol Arna. She was our teacher. She taught us, raised us. The HDD system and EOS are among her many achievements. She also saved us when the old capital fell. Fairy, didn't you ask us why we wanted to investigate Hollow Zero? This is our reason. We became proxies so we could collect enough observation data to one day head back to where Helios Academy once stood, deep in Hollow Zero. We're confident that if there are clues anywhere, it's got to be there. Belle and I are prepared to swear on our lives that our teacher isn't the one responsible. We have to uncover the truth about the fall of the old capital and clear our teacher's name. She's innocent, because... Warning, an unknown entity has been detected nearby. Huh? Now? Who would come here? <laughs> You're the head of Section 6, Hoshimi Miyabi. That's correct. And you're the leaders of the independent investigation team with the exceptional guide, Bang Boo. I did not anticipate being bested by you. We're honored you remember us. But being bested by us, what do you mean? I am training to be the first to reach the Chasm Memorial. I would like to spend some more time with her alone. So you're here to pay your respects to the deceased, too? Yes. My mother. My condolences. I hope you can find peace soon. Thank you. But I don't intend to find peace. Hmm? You don't want to find peace? Indeed. I shall not seek peace until all those responsible for the fall of the old capital are apprehended. I'll catch them all. None will escape me. <laughs>